But beggars can't be choosers. Hmm? So let's make a deal. You help us, and you don't die. A win-win, yeah? Not that you have much choice. Back off, Doc. Hey. Well, listen, this place has gone to hell. It's gonna work fast. Rick's office is stepping up to repair our teleportation device. It's not gonna be an easy job. You find us, provide some support. You might actually make it out of here. The speck of good news in all this is that there are still some supplies scattered around this dump. Get yourself armed and maybe mow down an undead ugly or two on the way over. A broken clock is right twice a day, yes? Well, that is just than his plan. Consider it the first correct strike. I've here for days now, and the monsters only grow stronger each night. Between protecting the teleportation base and caring for our comrades' wounds, you could say we are rather overwhelmed. We're Takio in fighting form. It might be different, but alas. Fortunately, there's a defensive drone to help you with these monster attacks. Extremely effective if I do need your mindset. But I would know. I created it. Yeah, yeah. Open a window here and go stick it up the place. Listen, kid, if you encounter any materials scattered around out there, no matter how chunky they seem, bring them to us. We'll help you find them tomorrow. Get 
Incoming damage. What exactly was the point of having it here? These energy transmission devices are open. Time space access calibration is closed. Energy devices are being accumulated to protect the base when we are ready to go home. What the hell, Doc? We teleported, but we're still in the same damn place. So you think I don't know that, Dempsey? The energy in this space is too strong. It's sucking us in place like candy. We need to harness more of that energy ourselves to break through this barrier. Ah, uh, I see broken clock takes off.